Hey guys, Alex here, AJNashville.com. Like the title says, the VA loan is not more expensive than their counterparts, FHA, VA, USDA, and other loan types. What sparked this video is I watched a video that was shared online where a well-known, well-trusted um, person, financial person, was talking about uh, the VA loan being the most expensive loan out there and that this particular veteran should rent longer as opposed to purchasing this home and being what we consider house poor. So, I wanna dive into a couple things. First off, the VA loan is typically lower in interest rate than most other loan products out there. Why? The default rate is much lower. It is guaranteed by the United States government and the VA to be backed in case of default. Lenders love VA loans the default rate is less than 2% on most VA deals. In addition to that, this is something that a person has fought for. This isn't a bad loan. It's not a government assistance loan, anything like that. These people have served and sacrificed in order to earn the right to use this loan. To hear a financial professional say that this is the worst loan sickens me down to my core and even deeper and deeper. Anyways, in addition to that, there's no mortgage insurance, which is cheaper on a month to month basis. You could take a loan of this caliber and compare it to just about any loan besides a conventional 20% down loan and compare the two and this one will come out cheaper. Now, if you have the accessibility of a VA loan, use it. Instead of putting that 20% down, why don't you use that to invest in your future? be it stocks, bonds, mutual funds, properties, whatever it may be, whatever it is you like to do, put it in the bank, keep it in the bank. As far as being house poor, that's a term that we use in the mortgage industry. That's when somebody qualifies for 300,000 and they wanna buy a house that's 350,000. They will become house poor. If you are dealing with a mortgage professional who has your best interests in need, they will educate you on the repercussions of potentially buying a house at the top end of what it is that you qualify for. If not, you won't, and you will end up in a situation with one of your discount lenders buying a home that will make you house poor. When I take care of my veterans, I make sure they know the ins and outs, ups and downs, and everything else in between. Why? Because I'm not gonna put them in a home that they will essentially or eventually lose. If this is you, you need throat punch in the fucking throat repeatedly. Says it in the topic, or in the, the description, there is explicit language. Get used to it. As far as the VA loan's concerned, this is something that you've earned the right to. You do have 100% financing. That does not include closing costs, but that does include 100% financing, meaning if you purchase a home for 300,000, the VA, as long as it will appraise for 300,000, will guarantee your loan up to 300,000 as long as you have the proper entitlement left over. You will not have mortgage insurance. You will have access to some of the lowest rates on the market. And in addition to that, you'll be able to take the additional money you would have spent on renting some other place and apply it towards your future by putting it towards your home, creating equity. Equity creates wealth. Donald Trump, case in point, whether you like him or not, he's rich as fuck because he got into real estate. You can be too if you do it right. Any comments or anything? Okay, last thing I wanna say, this day, seven years ago, we shot that motherfucker in the face. Well, not we. Robert O'Neill shot that motherfucker in the face that took down our towers. Today should be a celebration for most of you that are watching this. Thank God for our troops. God bless our troops here and overseas and our soldiers here and overseas. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.